Hi, in this video we are going in loud as we make a play for the jewels in the first heist in Grand Theft Auto 5. This might get messy. Hi and welcome back. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5 as we look at the first heist, the jewellery store job. And don't forget to hang around till the end so you can catch our bonus tips for improving the take. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one's a little bit challenging, so don't be surprised if it takes a couple of runs at it. We'll need to steal the jewellery within 50 seconds, protect Franklin during the LS River chase, and steal the jewellery from all 20 glass cabinets. So let's pick up as we enter the store. Okay, as we pile into the jewellery store, Michael makes a little bit of a scene, gets everyone to panic, and we'll take control in a second. Okay, hit that first cabinet on your right, take one step to the left, hit the next cabinet. All right, run around and then go to the far side, hit the one on the left and then the one on the right. And then turn around and hit the one on the left immediately behind you and then the one on the right again. Now about this point, someone gets a little bit frisky. So we'll hit this one first and then you can see that employee there. So we just need to take a breath, point a gun at her head and then we can get back into it. So hit the cabinet on the far side then the one immediately behind you. Spin around again. And then spin around once more. And that is everything cleared. So now we can run out of the jewelry store and that is inside 50 seconds. So that is us getting gold for that one. This is a cutscene. So we're straight into that. Michael says his iconic line, hands off to Franklin. And we are now over to our wheelman. Now don't forget Franklin's ability is really handy for this one. So we'll head off to the left there. There's always a bit of traffic here. So don't forget to use the ability when you need to, especially going through crossroad traffic. All right, so we'll just head up to the the bridge coming up and we need to go off that soon so it's not far off all right over to the right through the gap and down onto the freeway then off to the right now if you're using gust off there he will get himself killed so you can pick up the extra um, bag through the tunnel And then off to the right. Not that it matters too much, it does join up right there. Around to the left and then off to the right again. Now, if you get into trouble there, Franklin's ability will slow you right down and make it a bit easier for you to maneuver over that little tricky spot. Keep following through the tunnels. You got a big dip there. And another one coming up. Now as we head around to the left there, there's another big dip. And another one. Through the cage. Around to the right. Again, if we get into trouble, we can use Franklin's ability to speed us up or improve maneuverability. And as we pop out, we shall swap over to Michael. So our job here is to make sure Franklin doesn't get clobbered by the police cars. Now, fortunately, the police cars are mercifully easy to get rid of here. You just need to give them a quick tap. 
Not entirely sure how I held that, but I did. So get across, give them a quick nudge, and then off they go. There's always one popping out to the left here, so you can clean him up if you're quick. Otherwise, you just give him a quick tap and off he goes. And another one there as well on the left. Quick nudge. Crossover. So next is just rolling up to where the police can't see us. And you'll see the little yellow marker there. So while we're loading up the bikes, and before we get to the bonus tips, I'd like to say a massive thank you to our Patreon backers, whose contribution allows us to keep making these videos. Patreon backers get access to most videos early, and are automatically entered into our exclusive Patreon-only shark card draws. Receive priority responses to questions, and are invited to join any of the old grumpy gamers whenever we're playing online. Details on how to become a backer are in the description below. While you're there, don't forget to enter our semi-regular milestone shark card giveaways, follow us on your favourite social media platform, and visit our website for all the latest in old grumpy gamer goodness. All right, so while that was happening, we've just uh, loaded up the bikes and we're heading back to the warehouse where we'll have a bit of a chat and a little bit of a celebration. So thanks for watching to the end. Here are my top tips for maximizing the take regardless of your crew. Use a zigzag pattern between the cases to minimize time, giving you the best chance to get all of the jewels before the alarm is triggered. If you're using Norm Richards as the gunman, don't forget to pick up his dropped bag when he eats it just before the tunnel entrance. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. Check out the video on the left for the prep mission where we grab the carbine rifles or the one on the right for the smart approach to the heist. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.